Hello and welcome to Yak Quack Slips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 18 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. On the previous episode, we got this dead guy down, and we've got a book of the good soup. Good soup. Uh, good soup family history. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the good soup family. Excellent. Okay. Now, it's been a few days since I've played this. It is a glorious bank holiday May day here. So, um, yes, that's why. If you're watching live, as is, then, yeah, that's why I haven't recorded for a few days. So, I'll just quickly watch the end of my last <laughs> my last Let's Play to remind me. Um, so, I have to essentially pretend to be a good soup, don't I? So, this is the guy we've got to convince. And someone, someone mentioned in the comments, actually, this picture, this portrait, that I th think I have to stick my head in to pretend that I am that guy. But I don't know how to do that. Maybe I'll have to give it to him. I don't think he'd like that. No, can I try it on myself? That I'm won't really. fit. No, it won't fit. No, so I'm not, re not really sure how I can go about doing that. See if I can figure it out. Right, look at me. Does it look just like a good suit? Look at me. I think we did this all in the previous episode. No, I still don't think you have those noble good soup features. If you looked at all like a good soup, I might believe your story. Okay, so uh, I don't want to ask the story again. How can I get out to Skull Island? How can did we I get that out before? to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island, but he was lost to sea when the oh, lighthouse yeah, broke. He never was a very strong navigator. Right, well, yes, we did. We didn't. We did answer that. Ask that before. Um, I must explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Right. Yeah, I, I think it is something to do with this because how can we? Oh, let's give him the book. Actually, the Good Soup Family History. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Oh, okay. Can I use? It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup Family. Well, if we have to use this, how are we going to get our head in that? Is there, there's no like picture machine or anything, is there? <laughs> picture, picture machine, <laughs> like a camera essentially. But no, we are in the. Caribbean priority time, so pretty sure they weren't invented. Maybe, maybe the literature. This is only for reading. Okay. Um, insurance policy. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. I want, to, I want him to say that my name is Wonton and I look like that. Um, oh, I've got an idea actually. Because there's a porthole up here, isn't there? That I look through in the door. Come on, guy, we'll show you up. This one here. So maybe if I stick it on here. Get off. Stick it on there. Why would I want to hang a picture inside a closet? All right, okay. Why would I want to hang a picture inside a closet? Why would I want to hang a picture inside a closet? No, hold on, that doesn't make sense. Did it? Well, I'll try it on the other side of the door. And then, because I was thinking I could put that and then I could look through the porthole. I see my face, but that wouldn't work because it's on the wrong side of the door. So actually, if I try it this side, um, yes, because then I can look through it and maybe he'll come up. Maybe I have to make a, a, a racket or something. So if I'd look through here, oh, he's there. Oh, there's nothing like family. No matter what may happen in the topsy-turvy world of the Caribbean resort business, I can always relax in the knowledge that I come from good, wealthy stock. Good, wealthy stock. Breeding. <laughs> That's what's important. Breeding and culture. Just like Grandfather Lambert. Breeding, culture, and lots and lots of really old money. Mm, it makes a man proud. Ah, has he noticed us now? That's funny. I don't remember Grandfather Lambert as looking so... So, so guybrushy. <laughs> Charming. Oh, oh, weird. It's like his eyes follow me. Pictures like that really creep me out. Ah, oh, so he's got to be convinced now that I am looking like old Lambert. And then I guess we get into the crypts. Do we accidentally have to kill ourselves again? 
And this time, go into the crypt. Into the real crypt, the good suit crypt. For. Why are we going in there for again? Is that where the diamond ring was? The one that we need to save Elaine. Maybe it was. Right. Look at Try it again. Don't I look just like a good soup? Now that you mention it, you do bear a slight resemblance to my great grandfather, C. Lambert, good soup. Clammy? Why, folks back home used to tell me all the time. You're the spitting image of old chowder good soup. <laughs> you know, I think you're right. Ah, uh, I wonder why I didn't see it before. Oh, right, okay, so... I could just talk about good soup Shall history all day. Kill myself what again? about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... Baron Salmon Bisque the Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, he had formed the largest chain of all soup restaurants in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean and had a restaurant empire that spanned the globe. Actually, the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, and the good soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. Yes, we are. <laughs> Alright, okay, whatever. whatever. Well, son, it looks like you were right. Welcome back to the glorious name of Good Soup. I'm, uh, honored. And as a Good Soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Oh, what's that? Instant Thank you. prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount at any of the Good Soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, of course, Medical, dental, and a 401k. And the best thing of all, if you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant Good Soup family crypt. It's as if all my dreams have come true. <laughs> right, let's, let's, let's get our drink on, shall we? Right, we still got the medicine. I presume we still have the medicine. Yes, the head be clear is there. So I want a drink. And I'm going to... Get I'd drunk like drink, and please. get dead. Here you go, lady. Lovely. For those who are not American, um, yes, a 401k is very, very American, very much an American thing. And I know, I know it pops up a lot in um, popular culture, but it always went over my head. What's a 401k? I presume it's some kind of like um, pension. But um, let's not get into that right now. Come on, Guybrush. Let's get dead. And he's gone. Oh dear. He's had a sudden and completely unexpected <laughs> relapse of death. Relapse of death. <laughs> oh, and just as we were getting reacquainted. As his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. The late lamented want on good soup shall be buried in the good soup family crypt. All right. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Look at that. Very nice. We are now in the good soup crypt. Ominous. Ominous. And um, you know what? You know what that calls for. Calls for a big massive thumbs up. Go on, why not? Smash that like. Let's see if we can get to let's see if we can get to I know it's not a very high target, but ten ten likes. You know, this is episode nineteen. Get to ten likes is pretty much some some hey, feat. There's a hole in the ceiling of this crypt. I think I might be able to squeeze through. Wow, it's a tunnel that opens on a deep, dark forest. It looks familiar somehow. As if I've seen it in a dream. <laughs> or maybe it's... <laughs> that music, man. I don't know. Great jumping monkeys! A terrifying horde of stunningly rendered rabbit jaguars. They're coming right at me! Whew. It's a good thing I couldn't get through that hole. I'd be done for. <laughs> now that is an Easter egg and a half. Well, um, I think even I, I mentioned um, the insert this 22 joke previously in a previous episode of this. Where yeah, that was in Monkey Island One. If you 
in the original Monkey Island one, if you were um, try to get down that stump, it says please use insert disc 22. There's a load of catacombs down there, and of course there is no disc 22. It was a joke. However, that when they when the re when the next issue came along, when uh, Monkey 2 came out, uh, they had to remove the joke because apparently they kept getting loads and loads of calls and angry people saying, where's Disc 22? I can't carry on with the game because um, some people could be a little bit silly. But um, yeah, that was excellent. Well done. T screw the like for getting in the tomb. Give me a like for that. That was awesome. Right. It's a memorial plaque for Mini Stroni Good Soup. <laughs> Mini Stroni. Right, let's go up here. Ooh, yeah. ghost. Um, ghost. Uh, should we talk to her? <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, hello there. Who are you and what are you doing? Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. What happened? I was the belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lads adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Flooring inspector. Oh. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow. That bites. Oh, I know. Right, um, were there any other suitors you found attractive? Were there any other suitors you found attractive? Well, <laughs> there was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. <gasps> he had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? You know, it's funny, I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. You see that guy that was actually in the hotel on the bed? What happened to reckon, that young man you liked so much? I reckon much? it is. Why, the last time I saw Charles, he had checked into the hotel. Okay. That's gotta be him. <laughs> Go into the light! Go into the light! <laughs> if only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? <laughs> Uh, yes, 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 yes. We say no. We say no, see what happens. Uh, you bet. <laughs> what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. Gulp. Uh, right. Nice, oh, nice ring. She's got the ring. So we have to get the guy down here so that she can get married. So we can hey, get the ring. nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Do you reckon that pirate was, um, was LeChuck? Because she said that there was another one, wasn't there? So maybe, maybe the first one was LeChuck. I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love. My yes. honey cakes. My widow schnoobums. My LeChuck. LeChuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Where did the Chuck take the diamond? Cad! The fiend! He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island! It's just so humiliating! I could just die! <laughs> Again, 
So we've got to go to Skull Island. This is n that's not the first time we've heard to Skull Island. Since you're uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. Okay. Um, do we have one at the minute? How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. <laughs> um, well, if it's a stand's crypt, then maybe we can just kick it. Uh, I think we've said everything. We've asked everything, haven't we? This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. Okay, so we have to... One, get out of the crypt. Two, find a band for her. Three, get that other guy in the bed down here to wed her so that she can disappear, I guess. Let's just have a quick look around here. Morbid. Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm, no. You like that, don't you? Right, oh, can we, go, can we go that way? Don't want to go there yet because I don't want to miss anything. Anything on our fingers? No. Memorial wreath. I think. Let's just have a look quick to see if we have anything that we could use as a as a ring. Um not really, is there? Can't see anything. No, nothing even really remotely looking like a ring. Let's see if we can exit this way. Oh, there's something here. A crowbar. It's an adventure game. Of course there's a crowbar. Um, <laughs> oh. Good soup is food. What, where did that wiggle come wiggle, from? Wiggle. <laughs> where did that giggle this come from? This is going to be so cool. Ah! Oh, oh, God. <laughs> it's oh, Murray. I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? <laughs> well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. <laughs> uh, good old Murray. Can we pick him up? Hey. Yeah, we've got Murray. Excellent. <laughs> Look at that. That's ace. It's I him. don't want to get caught up in a conversation with Murray right now. Um, I mean, we've got a crowbar and we've got Murray. So um, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, where, where, are we looking through there? Right, we're we looking through there. Okay. So let's see if we can pick anything up. I can't reach. Can we... Do we have anything here? Crowbar that we could use? I can't reach. Hmm. I can't use the crowbar with that. Talk to the parrot. Nah. Oh, he's, he looks dead. I uh, can't reach. Talk to Mort? Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Crazy <laughs> kids with your long hair and your Baroque music. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Right, we have to convince him to, I don't know, let us out. This isn't a trick. I'm really trapped. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. I'm going to go sulk in the darkness. This isn't a trick. I'm really trapped in this crypt. I drank a special potion that put me into a coma. Thinking I was dead, they buried me in this crypt. Yeah, right. They did that in the book. Never trade lunches with a corpse. If you kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Come on. Just come Help and look out. at me through this crack. Oh, sure. I turn my back to the door and you thieving little hoodlums will sneak up from behind and tie me up. I read all about your sinister ways in my horror novels, so nothing doing. Okay, um... 
let's say this one. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off my work. <laughs> Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. I see your point. <laughs> nice. Let me out of this crypt. Well, I don't think that's going to work. Not pulling your tricks this time. Just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels. Curses! You've seen through my web of deceit. I'm no ordinary man trapped in a crypt. Well, what are you then? Uh, I am uh, my f my faster than light ship is trapped in a subspace anomaly. I seek the golden rods of Cthon to bring peace to the Shire. I'm an angry, enraged ghost haunting this crypt. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. I've got to say that it's the rules of the save. So if ever that comes up in conversation in any game, I'm selling these have fine leather it. jackets. I'm a vegan. I hate the exploitation of animals. <laughs> really? But what about all those stuffed heads on your wall? Oh, only one of those is real. What I meant to say was... Okay, well what I'm going to say is that's obviously sci-fi, um, that's fantasy, and this one seems horror, so I'm going to say this one. I'm an angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Then let me see you appear before me. Excuse me? If you were a real spirit, you could materialize in a ghostly form. It's all in the books. Well, let's see it. Isn't the ominous sound of my disembodied voice proof enough? I guess not. Uh, maybe I have to go and talk to that woman. Let's get I'm off I'm gonna here. go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. Unless I use Murray. I don't think he'd like that. I can't reach. Alas, I can't use Murray with that. What's that? What's novel? It looks like he's writing a horror novel. It's called The Grog That Drank People. Part <laughs> one of a three book cycle. I wonder why trashy media always comes in threes. Nice. I can't reach. Um, do we do we have anything that we could like reach through? Maybe the no, maybe the arm. Oh yes. Well, that no. can reach the oh, arm, but it. it won't grab hold. Uh. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Okay. What do we have to? What do we have that we could? Uh, maybe the crowbar. I can't use the crowbar with that. Maybe the do, 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 umbrella. I can't use the umbrella with that. We just use umbrella anyway. I can't use the umbrella. No. Uh, maybe, maybe Murray. Reuniting Murray with his arm is a bad idea. Uh, really? Thinks it sounds kind of fun. Do we have anything that we could hook onto it? Chisel? I can't use the chisel with that. No. Um, I think I'm going to go back and talk to the woman to see if she can. Just go through the wall, just for a sec. Uh, hi. Hello again, <laughs> handsome. Hello again, handsome. Right, what happened to that young man? Why did the chuck take the diamonds? He's not using it, and how do I get out of this crypt? No, um, not there. I'll just check back in with you later. Maybe. Maybe, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Maybe we use. I'm thinking using Mori with the lantern is like a, a backdrop thing. Shadow. That's why I'm I using. can't reach. Shadow. Alas, backdrop I can't thing. use Murray with that. Um. What else could I do? Paste. Oh, yeah. I can't reach it. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Is that it? Hmm, okay. Well, we have a lantern now. Use Murray with the lantern. Oh, I am. It works. Awesome. Murray, do your stuff. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, we threw a book. Maybe we need that book. Oh, no. He's fool. Release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered <laughs> furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. Oh, Murray, you fiend. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... 
I was terrifying, wasn't I? <laughs> My demonic powers have made me omnipotent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love uh -oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There, it's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. Okay, we are going to shuffle out of here, but we're going to shuffle out of here in the next episode. I mean, if, what an episode. That was great fun. If you've enjoyed it, um, please smash that like button. It really does help. And um, yeah, just a side note, keep a lookout for my new Twitch channel because I will be starting Twitch very, very soon. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash Lips. If that's your thing, come and join me over there and we'll be streaming soon. But uh, yes, we're going to be carrying on with Curse Monkey Island uh, tomorrow. So thanks very much, everybody. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you are doing right now. And wah-ha-ha! <gasps> Take care.